Hi, I'm Nick for Robotic Bean, and I'd like to show you how to get started with Step Note Recorder. Let's start with one of the included combinators from the starter folder. We've included patches for each of the Reason devices with Step pre-routed. If we flip the rack around, you can see that setting up an instance of Step is as easy as connecting the gate and CV outputs to their respective inputs on the instrument. Let's flip the rack back around and get started. By default, the monitor button is engaged, which passes the gate and CV information from Step to my instrument. Let's record a few notes into Step. As I play each note, Step records the note name, octave, and velocity. If I make a mistake, I can use the reset button, which doubles as the back button during recording, to erase the last step. By playing legato, I can automatically add a tie. If I want to add a rest to my melody, I can do so by clicking the mute button, which doubles as the rest button during recording. Let's hear my sequence and make some adjustments on the fly. I can change the resolution of the steps from as long as a half note to as short as a 128th note. As I change the resolution, the grid updates to show the natural groupings and subdivisions. This may or may not be accurate depending on the time signature of your project, but it can be a useful guide for most music production. By default, the length of each gate is set to 50% of the resolution. I can adjust the gate length by changing the width knob. Note that even at 100%, there is still a tiny pause between notes, but I can use the tie function to connect two notes completely. Likewise, at 0%, the notes in the sequence will still play, but I can add a rest to mute a step completely. If I want to make a change to my pattern, I can easily edit the note, octave, and velocity on each step by clicking and dragging. Or by drawing in the desired velocity. that the velocity knob doesn't change the absolute value, but rather scales the velocity. You can see the original velocity is gray. Here's where we can get really creative with our melody. I can change where I start in the sequence by shifting my melody left or right using the offset buttons. I can also change the direction in which my melody plays. Forward is the default. Reverse will play my melody backwards. Alternate will play forwards and then backwards, repeating the first and last step. Pendulum will play forward, then backwards, without repeating the first and last step. Random selects random steps to play. Brownian generates a Brownian motion, 
with 50% chance of going forward, 25% chance of going back, and 25% chance of repeating the same note. Reorder shuffles the sequence randomly and plays every note before shuffling the sequence again. We've only scratched the surface of all that Step can do. We'll be back in future tutorials to dive into some of the more advanced features.